is Tommy Joe, and uh, I'm going to play the drums, and this is basically a practice session for me. Um, the process, I'm going to explain the process that I go through to learn how to play the drums, uh, as opposed to teaching rhythms uh, specifically. Um, the reason for this is I feel that the, the modern educational system has kind of created a paradigm wherein individuals to share their gifts have to do so in a certain format that imparts um, some knowledge, but more the like the, the like for drums, for example, the concentration is on the rhythms. And although the rhythms by learning a lot of rhythms, you can um, practice your technique. You know, you can play different combinations, and you can get different tones, and as you play more, the tones that you get are going to be a better quality of tone. And so what I'm going to try and impart through this video is, uh, how to explain it, it's like a perception, it's like a way of listening to yourself so that you hear what you're doing um, not from the standpoint of fitting into a framework that has been presented to you so for example tumbao this is a form of the tumbao rhythm the rhythm itself when you distinguish rhythms think of the, the notes that you're playing all right, and there's a certain combination of notes, and they they change uh, based on what you're trying to evoke. What are you doing there, qualitatively? What's the difference between doing a tumbao rhythm Okay, so that's just a basic tumbao rhythm. It's there are a lot of better ways to do it, and that the quality of that was that was just it was just the notes. Now, if I want to develop this rhythm and become better at the rhythm, at doing the rhythm, what do I aim towards? Precision in terms of when I hit the different notes, the quality of the different tones in the notes. How you doing, Grandma? This is Grandma. This is Grandma Teresa. Mm -hmm. And it's because of Grandma and Grandpa that I play the drums. Because Grandpa played the drums. And uh, that makes me, when I play the drums, I, I feel that quality, his spirit. You know, I remember him and I think about the qualities of him. I don't remember him playing the drums. I don't remember ever seeing him play the drums. But he was a conga player. And he played, uh, the, also the trumpet was probably his main instrument, or his voice, actually. So when I'm looking at this rhythm, and I'm trying to figure out how to play it, and this is, I'm not used to telling people about this, so I may stutter, um, or become self-conscious, and I please forgive me for that that may inhibit the uh, lesson in some ways. Um, and when I say lesson, I don't want you to think of traditional, like I'm teaching you something, mm -hmm. then you do what I did. What I'm trying to share is how you can explore your own experience of drumming and in such a way that you recognize the qualitative differences between when you play and therefore have a reference through which you can achieve um, a more fulfilling experience for you and for other people who are listening as a result of it being fulfilling for you. Okay? So, it's like the difference between playing a song uh, through the computer on a CD and it's, it's precisely the song or seeing the musicians perform that live. The, the 
focus is a little bit different for the audience. You feel the energy. With this, you also feel the energy. So this, what I'm playing now, the quality of the tones. How do you know if one note is better than another note? So now what I'm going to do, you got to hear the notes. Now I'm going to show you my hands. See if you can tell the difference between the quality of my presence in my hand while I'm playing the note.
simplified and at the same time fundamental. have different uh, pulls to them.